But what I'm saying is that if you're allowing yourself to be shaped by these social forces, and you're not saying what you really believe, and if you're not doing the things that you really want to do, then what that means is that what you're putting out there into the world is not really you. It's an avatar, it's a mask that you created to present to the world. And so now when you put that mask, that avatar out in the world, the real you is hiding back here in the shadows. With, by the way, with, with most other people as well, everyone's out there hanging out in the shadows. And we just have like, like these masks, like, like chess pieces that we've thrown out into the world to see how we can move them around without really being in danger of being condemned ourselves. Because if I, if I actually, you know, if I say a cliche like, you know, hey, it is what it is, right? Oh yeah, yeah, it is what it is. And then I just throw that out there. That's not what I really believe. But now if someone comes along and they attack that cliche, what the hell does that mean? That's a stupid statement. They're not really attacking me. They're attacking the cliche that I've thrown out there into the world. They've thrown the, they're, they're attacking the mask. So now there's, the, the payoff on that is that you're safe now because now they're not really criticizing you. They're criticizing this mask that you put out there. But here's, but then here's also the problem. What if somebody falls in love with that mask that you put out there in the world? That means that they don't really love the real you and you'll never know what it's like to be loved for the real you. Either way, you're gonna suffer because now if you put the real you out there into the world and then people attack it, well, they're attacking the real you. So now there actually is some sort of a psychic attack on you. I mean like, I mean like a psychological attack on you as a person. The real you is being judged and condemned, but I don't know, stop me if you've heard this before. Life is suffering. You don't get to choose not to suffer, but, you're going, but if you're truly free, you can choose what it is you're going to suffer for. If you're in North Korea and you want to protest against the state, will you go to prison? Yes, probably, probably. But you have that choice to go to prison or to not go to prison. If you go to prison, here's what's happening. The real you is now being attacked. The real you is now being condemned. But that's the thing, it's the real you. Versus if you just say, oh no, the state is wonderful and perfect just the way it is. And now you're safe. But here's the thing, man. If you're being judged on social media, like I said, what can you do? Turn it off, this, turn it off. Now you don't have to hear that anymore. But if instead you're being judged, I'm sorry, but when you, if, if, you're, if you put the real you out there and you're being judged that way, you turn off the app, sorry. On the other side though, if it's not the real you and everyone loves it, now who judges you? Probably the worst judge in the world, yourself. And you can't turn that app off. When you're laying there in bed at night, you know if, if, if what was praised was the real you or not. So you know, so now you know as you're, as you're drifting off into sleep, no one really knows me. And that means that the real you has never entered the world. May, you, in, 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 in a very real sense, you may as well have never been born because the world's never going to see the real you. They're going to see an avatar, which they could have gotten from anybody. The real you is only one of the real you. But, I mean, there's clones everywhere of people saying the same things because that's what we're supposed to do. Of uh, presenting ourselves in the same way because that's what we're supposed to do. But the real you never gets to enter unless, of course, the real you has the courage to do that. But that means that you have to be, you have to be vulnerable. You have to be, because you're, you're susceptible to criticism. And how much that criticism bothers you is gonna have everything to do, of course, with how, how deeply you, you take it. I mean, this is one of the reasons that like, we, we love real people, but man, we hate them too, because they're almost an ideal in that sense. Because if we look at people who are real, we think, I wish I had the courage to do that. I wish I could be that person. Not to emulate them, but to be like them in the sense of having the courage to be the real you. But then every ideal is a judge. Yeah. Yeah, every ideal is a judge. That's why they frighten us so much. That's why we like to tear them down because whatever ideal you're aspiring to, you realize that you're not measuring up to it. And that's why we hate it. You have a choice. You could see it as a deficiency, or instead you could see it as something that you're aiming towards, like every star is an ideal. You may not get there, but if you aim for it and you, and you strive towards it and you really focus your energies and your efforts on it, you're gonna get closer than you otherwise would have. But the ideal that you establish for yourself, 
that's why it matters what you what you what you aim at, because like, like like none of us is ever going to be more virtuous than the God that we serve. None of us is going to be more virtuous than the God that we imagine. None of us is going to be as virtuous as the ideal that we aspire to. But that's the idea. You aspire to it. And it makes you better in that process. But to do that takes vulnerability. You have to put the real you out there. And then, of course, when people criticize you, they're really criticizing you. And you're going to suffer for that. But if you don't put the real you out there, if you're a thinking person, you're going to criticize yourself. And that's a criticism that you can't escape. I can escape people's criticism by, by, by changing jobs, by moving cities, by not talking to people, by turning up, by, by deactivating my social media accounts. I can avoid criticism that way, but I can never avoid myself. And this is why they say to, to be true to yourself. It's not because you know all the answers. You, you know a good amount of them, but you're gonna make a lot of mistakes. But the reason that you're true to yourself is not because you're right. The reason that you're true to yourself is because you have to live with yourself. And you're the only one who has to live with you. Everything, everybody else is, is a matter of free will and choice, but you cannot escape yourself. No matter how far you run, no matter how hard you dive, you're never going to, to, to escape yourself. So since you have to encounter yourself on a second by second basis, and especially at those moments when you're by yourself as you're drifting off into sleep, even if someone's laying next to you, you're still alone and you're drifting off into sleep. And that's the you that you have to confront. And so, I guess ask yourself as you're doing that, is this person I have to spend time with, is this a person who I'm, I'm comfortable with? Who, despite everything else, every other tragedy, this is the one thing I can depend on, which is the myself. That doesn't mean you, can sh it doesn't mean you shun everybody else, you can't count anybody else, that's not true. You know when they say like, you can't depend on anybody else? That's not true. Can people depend on you? If you're the person who says, people can depend on me, then you have to acknowledge there are people in the world you can depend upon. Find them, I guess. But one thing's for sure, hopefully, you can depend upon yourself. I think that the reason people say that is because they know they can't depend on themselves to be themselves. But aim for that, maybe.